Hey survivors, welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Wanderer here, and I wanted to kind of show you some of the weapons I've collected and uh, the various stats and stuff on them. So, um, basically, um, after last episode, I went up around... I'm sorry, I did it off screen. I, I really just wanted to, to go and explore this area a little bit, and uh, I didn't didn't really feel like recording because it was like 2 a.m. and I was really tired and I knew I wouldn't make good content with it being so late at night. Um, like there comes a point where like I had recorded like three episodes that day already. Like I knew it was going to just be like really crappy if I, uh, if I tried to make another one. So anyway, um, I went out from the Valenti station, which is, uh, right around here somewhere, I think. And, uh, I just kind of looked around over here a little bit. I found a, uh, kind of a, like convenience store type place. And there were a ton of... And I mean a lot, a whole lot of alcohol, uh, Nuka-Cola, and bottles. Lots and lots of bottles, like beer bottles, wine bottles, Nuka-Cola bottles, you name it. There were tons of bottles there. And so I got all those, and uh, as well I found a couple of nice weapons. So I want to kind of show you these weapons um, and show you kind of their maximum damage and stuff. So this is me without any um, real buffs. I don't have... I guess I have one, just one rank of adrenaline here, but nothing major. Um, so anyway, let's look at some of these weapons here. Um, so pull them all out. These are kind of my uh, usable right now, like really, really awesome end game weapons. So uh, first off, the king of the sniper rifles, the 50 caliber marksman sniper rifle here. So this has a 50 caliber receiver that's as high as you can go best barrel uh, the best stock I think um, a large magazine I need a better magazine a night vision scope and a compensator it's pretty much just about everything I'd want on it it's very very good the problem with this weapon is that it has a huge amount of recoil and it's bolt action so it takes a very long time to rechamber the round and get ready for your next shot uh, whereas the combat sniper rifle is much easier to use. Uh, next one is the combat sniper rifle and I found a 308 receiver for this uh, last night as well. So I found the 50 caliber and the 308 caliber receivers for the hunting rifle and the combat rifle respectively. As far as I know the 308 receiver is like it's just better in like every regard. It has faster fire, it does more damage, it's just superior in pretty much every way. I'll probably put the uh, 45 caliber back on this for now, uh, just because I don't think I need the extra damage right now. Maybe if I go over to um, assault the uh, U.S. Army remnant somewhere or something, I'll take I'll put the, the 308 one on there. I've still got this plasma sniper rifle, and it's it's just a standard capacitor, but it does so much damage. So the plasma sniper rifle is just so much damage, man. If I were to modify this thing out. Let's see here. If I were to put the best overcharge capacity, it'd be, uh, God, well over 230 damage. 236 damage is what it would do with no adrenaline. And it goes higher than that. I mean, it would be uh, well over 250 damage probably with the improved sniper barrel and everything. Uh, this will be a nice weapon once I find the right stuff for it, assuming I can get them. I don't... It's going to take a while. It's going to take a very long time. But yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, next up, we have the uh, sniper laser weapon, which is, I mean, this is pretty much good to go as is. It's 214 damage. Um, only problem with a laser sniper weapon is that it takes a long time to recharge between shots. You have to listen for that tick, tick, tick before it's good to go. Um, otherwise, you're doing like 33 or 66% as much damage as you normally would because uh, it has to charge up fully before the next shot. But extremely ammo efficient, very, very good. Um, got the 10 millimeter pistol, which I think this is pretty much the best you can get. Um, I guess I, I would like a large quick eject magazine, but otherwise this is the best you can get pretty much for a 10 millimeter. It's an excellent, excellent sidearm to carry around because it only weighs six, ra uh, six weight it's extremely good for um, mid-range combat, you know, close to mid-range combat, whenever you don't want to be aiming down the sights, down the scope of a sniper rifle. Combat shotgun, you know, obviously this one is uh, it's quite good. 
Um, best receiver, best barrel, best stock. Uh, again, I need a better magazine and um, maybe, maybe a muzzle brake, and that's pretty much it. This is a really good weapon. It's just very, very heavy, and shells are very heavy, too. My, my plinker. This thing is so much fun to use. I know that, you know, people hate on the pipe rifles, but I found a, a long fin barrel for it. So now it has, like, the best single-shot receiver, the best barrel, the best stock, the best magazine, um, what I want on it, which is a glow reflex sight and a suppressor. Like, this is, this is like the best pipe rifle you could ever ask for. Um, I could modify it to be automatic, and I might actually do that to be powerful automatics. I do have the, the mod for that. Um, I wouldn't lose that much damage. It would be better against more powerful enemies. But then I would lose the accuracy from my rifleman perk, which is why I don't do it. So if I ever pick up the automatic perk, I might consider that, but not right now because I don't have it. Handmade rifle, this is pretty good too. It has an advanced receiver, long improved barrel. Um, I put a reflex dot sight on it. has a, the best magazine. This is pretty much done too. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get. The damage on is a little bit lackluster, like compared to uh, other stuff. Like I was kind of surprised the damage on is so low. Yeah, and the powerful automatic just doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. If this did, this would be like a good weapon to like just bring out once in a while and just blow through a whole bunch of 762 ammo on it, you know? Uh, that'd be really fun to do that, but uh, it needs to do more damage to be like, you know, good enough for that. Like it should do at least as much as the Calibre 8 Powerful. Maybe like a little bit more, maybe like 60 damage per shot would be good. I'd, I'd consider using it as automatic, but again, you'd have to have the, you'd have to have the perk for it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my collection thus far. Um, I, I don't think I'm actually going to use I'm not going to use this because even though like it's impressive, the damage on it is really impressive, the recoil on it just sucks so bad. Like let me let me shoot it real quick and I'll show you. If you look at how much recoil there is, there is on it, then you got to wait that whole time, right? While you're like waiting for it to line back up and everything. Whereas with the combat rifle, there's no issue with that. I guess the main thing is the bolt action is, is what is really terrible on it. The recoil isn't so bad, but the bolt action is a serious pain in the butt for that thing. Gotta go through and sort some of my stuff down here. Make sure I've got enough supplies for the trip up north. Yeah, we got water, we got booze, we got food. We're, we're all good to go. Plenty of stim packs and right away and stuff. Let's see what time it is here. Six, 7 p.m. So, um... What I will probably do is run up to Valenti Station up here again, if I can find it, and uh, rest for the night over at Siampa's Bar, and then we'll go out in the morning and uh, check out Haymarket Mall and stuff. I had to come back to drop off my stuff between episodes. That was the main reason I came back, because I just had way too much stuff. But I got a ton of bottles up there. Um, I'm actually going to grab all those bottles real quick. 34 beer bottles, guys. I got so, so many beer bottles. It was ridiculous. Uh, but I'm going to grab some of this stuff and uh, go fill all these bottles. And the money, holy crap, I got so much money over there too. Just insane how much money I got. But uh, I'm going to go and fill all these bottles. Holy crap, I've got like at least like 60 or 70 bottles here. And uh, do some other stuff and go up there and sleep for the night at Siampa's Bar. And I will see you in the morning when we're ready to start out. 97 dirty water, guys. That's a lot of friggin' water. That is a lot of stinking water. Let me see how much I have now. So 15 plus 36. Yeah, 51. Pretty good. Pretty dang good. I'm going to take like 15 with me. All right, so we are all set for our trip up north. I'll see you once we are there. All right, guys. I'm on my way up north. I see a machine gun turret up here. I don't know uh, what that is from. was pretty sure I cleared all this stuff, but I guess not. And a lone muck crab over here. Yeah, I'm, I've already been over here. A survivor over there, though. Oop, more muck crabs. Where there be muck crabs, there often be eggs. I don't think there are any around here, though. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Where are you going, lady? Show your face. Come on, I dare you. There it is. There's my face. <laughs> Wrong way, lady. 
Thought you could hide? Why do they always got to oh. You're not the brightest one, are you? Nope. I thought I cleared this out, but apparently not. Maybe they, uh... Maybe they... What the hell are these guys dying? Where are they at? Are there eggs over here? If there are eggs over here, I want them. This guy's about to have a bad day. Wow, surprised they didn't kill him. Yeah, I'm 100% positive I was already over here. Gah. The frame rate and the weird artifacts there. This is the Shamrock Tap House. I was up here and cleared this already once. I doubt there are more survivors here, and you can't go in here, right? Nope. Ammo box is empty. Yeah, I already got this stuff. I'm not sure where the new survivor came from. It's got a nice uh, Chinese officer sword. I already have one of those, though. My EEE. -E -E. The accidentally renamed one. I failed on both accounts there. It was pretty awesome, I have to say. Damn it. Fucking missing all my hits here. Stop it. So I'm getting both uh, pre-war money as well as like the regular frost money. I don't know, something's weird. I think it's because um, I had Pilgrim lower than frost in load order, which I think is a mistake. I think that causes problems. Was I already over in this area? Did I already go up here? I'm, yeah, I did. I, I'm positive I did now, because I went over here and slept. All right, let me sleep again over here, get a quick save in. God, it's getting late at night. I wasn't expecting to meet anybody on my way up here, because I've already cleared this all previously, so I was kind of surprised to see anybody. And here's 35 quarts, where you get the X01 power armor. I'm not going up there, man. <laughs> I'll get my ass kicked. I dropped a whole bunch of weapons over here, too. Yeah, I was already up here once already. Previous episode. Um, I'm trying to get up to Valenti Station, though. I'm not exactly sure where that is, to be honest, though. Like, I know it's up in this area somewhere. Oh, so here... This is the, um... This is where I went to get all the bottles and stuff. Right? No, this wasn't it. Never mind. It was around here, though. Is this... is this Valenti? No. Can't get in that one. This area is so confusing. So that's Joe's Spuckies. Coming up here at night is probably a bad idea. Is this it? No. This, this all looks familiar, though. I don't think I was in Joe's Spuckies before. Let me check this out real quick, I guess. I'm um, here, might as well. Probably ghouls or something. There are normally gunners in here. Holy shit, that's a fucking missile launcher. Oh, fuck. I ain't even mad, man. That was so beautiful. I'm not even mad. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta go back there and kill him now. <laughs> Those guys are well-armed, and they are gunner variants. Wow. 
blew my head clean off. That's great. All right, well, I'm not too far away from that. Uh, I saved right over here, which um, I think I went this way. Maybe not. I gotta go and find Joe's Spuckies again, find those guys and kill them. I can kill them really easily as long as I, like, stealth in there, and I shouldn't have had my, my lamp on, my helmet light. That was quite dumb of me. Yeah, I, was, I can definitely find, like, places where I've dropped stuff before. We didn't have room for it up here. So up around here, was this it? It's a turret. Oh, it's a friendly machine. This is a vendor, isn't it? Yeah, this is a friendly, friendly machine gun turret. Nice machine gun turret. Oh, shit! How that didn't piss her off. Did not mean to do that. But this stuff, you can, you can get this stuff. It's not... It's not, uh... Like against the rules, right? It's like it's not stealing taking it, so. Three lolly pins. I really shouldn't be open this. I really shouldn't be. I've got over a thousand cash, like a thousand pre war money on me. That's There's it. no reason to open this. Whatever. Tesla arc. And that one's a 44 round, okay. See, there's a vendor up here, I'm pretty sure. Lower our weapons so she knows we come in peace. Name's Opal. You got caps, I got goods. Don't be an idiot and we'll get along fine. I'll take a All look. Alright, sure. I like you, Opal. Wow, Opal has a lot of... Holy shit, Opal has a lot of ammo. Opal, you are my new best friend. Holy crap, you have a lot of good stuff. Um... Wow. I'll take it all. <laughs> I mean, not really, but like, seriously, I'll take most of this stuff. 228.45 rounds, holy crap. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, um, use a grape mentats before I do this. That's insane. All right, Opal, let's do this. Hey. Hey, Scaver. Let's trade. I'll take a look, sure. Seriously, Opal, you are like the best. Okay, I will take all of your 45 rounds. I will take all of your 10 millimeter rounds. I'll take all of your 556 rounds. Uh, I think I'll pass on those. I'll take all your fusion cells. Take all your flamer fuel. Well, yeah, I'll take all your flamer fuel. Um, missiles I probably don't need. I'll take all your plasma cartridges. Your 308, your 38. I'm not that big of a fan, honestly, of the 50 caliber. Um, the hunting rifle. I'll probably pass on this. Um, these, why not? Why the hell not? These are like super, super, I mean, they're super cheap, so sure. Oh yeah, we can afford everything. No problem. Alright, so we need about that. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, and what else does she have here? Uh, any useful junk or anything? She's got a lot of good stuff, man. A lot of good stuff. I'll take any, any bottles she's got. Actually, you know what? I don't need bottles that bad right now. I'm not going to worry about it. She's got shipments of all this stuff, too. Nogram has to have forgotten about this vendor. He Either that or he put her here on purpose to make her, like, really, really... Like, in the middle of a war zone to make her really hard to get to. But he has to have forgotten about this vendor. Oh, my God! She's got bobby pins? Hell yes! Yeah, I'll buy all of them. Fuck yes, I'll take them. Um, she's got chems too. Would I like a free mutt crab egg? Yes, I would. That's that's fine. Would I like some grenade ale? You know what? I don't really need the alcohol right now. Um, purified water. Eh, okay, I'll take a couple more. Yeah, that's that's like kind of amazing. That's it's pretty phenomenal actually. Nothing I really want here. Uh, as far as weapons go. Let's see, what does this have on it? Quantum gyrocompensating lens. I would take it just for that, honestly. So, yeah, I'll buy that. It's not that expensive. Nuclear teddy bear mine. That's pretty good, too. Take that. What is this one? Just a gyrocompensating. She doesn't have any, like, good, long, uh, improved long barrel 
but I'll have to check later because her inventory probably restocks occasionally. That's just freaking amazing, man. Like, holy crap, that's insane. Opal, you are my new best friend. 303 exactly. Excellent. Excellent trade. Let's do it. Thank you, Opal. You are amazing. What's this? Uh, I can't... Can I sleep here? No, I can't sleep here. Okay. Um, and plus, she's got a, a workbench and... Um, armor workbench and weapons workbench here. Does she have... Uh, she have a, she's got a cooking workbench here. All that you'd need is like a chem station around here and like this would be like an amazing place. Where the hell is this at? I gotta make sure. Okay, it's like... Okay, so if, I, if you go to the custom house tower, it's like around the corner over here. I'm gonna like mark it on the map. No, don't mark custom house tower. Mark like... I can't mark it. It's switching between these. Okay, but yeah, it's like right there, guys. You see where it is? There's Funnel Hall. There's Custom House Tower. If you go around the corner from Custom House Tower and Little Alley over here. Yeah, I can remember this because you'll... Yeah, right here's Custom House Tower. So you go to Custom House Tower and then you just go around the corner over here. Keep going this way, not down the other valley. Go, go this way. And then right over here you'll hear the... you hear the machine gun turrets. That's freaking awesome, man. Look at how much ammo I have. Holy shit. 410 45 rounds. Oh my god. I'm almost full though. It's the only problem. I'm going to end up having to go back and dump off all this stuff. All this excess stuff. Oh, that's a lot of rads. That's a lot of rads. What is this over here? Have I cleared this yet? Definitely not. This this is Funnel Hall, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, well, I don't really have the carry weight to do anything else right now, so I gotta I gotta run back. I mean, I'm like too off from being full here. Um, maybe I'll sleep over at. Uh, maybe I'll try to find Valenti Station here and sleep there, and then uh, head back through the tunnels tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to find Valenti Station over here. I know it's around here, close by somewhere. In fact, I recognize where I am now. It's a little park area. It's like right around the corner from the park area, I think. Is it like right over here? Here it is. This is, this is Valenti Station. Yep, this is it. All right, guys. So here's Valenti Station. Huh? There's the Alliance or the Federation friends over here. I'm going to run over back through here to downtown, where we were last time. That makes a very, very good case, because that vendor is so close, yeah. that makes a very good case for me to move my base to uh, downtown here. Because you can get into Valencia yes. Station so easily. God, I can't even carry all this stuff. It's so heavy. I'll probably sell that. Probably sell that. Uh, I need a rat away too. That uh, shotgun is not very good to the collector if he's still available. Use a rat away in a stim pack. I use one of my levels to get rank three of medic, by the way. So um, it now restores 80% of my health and rat away removes 80% of radiation. Next level will just make it work a lot quicker and do all of my health. So that's pretty amazing. How am I still overweight here? I guess I had buff taps running. I'll drop like my one yeah. egg here. Those things are huge, man. Look how big that egg is. Can you imagine hauling around like 50 of those like I was? It's like impossible. Oh well, whatever. Um, let me see if I can sell stuff to the collector over here. And I'll sleep for the night and I'll see you in the morning. Ah, oh, crap. I just ran out of booze. I, I was about to say something that I ran out of booze. Uh, let's see here. I need some Gwinnett ale. There we go. So guys, I have come to a decision, a pretty radical decision. I'm going to move my base. This place is... Now that I think about it, this place is pretty much perfect. And what I want to do very soon, I'd like to explore this area more thoroughly as well as over here. And this place is no further from the western side of Boston than uh, Andrew Station really is. Um, 
as well. Andrew Station. I don't know. Like I like Andrew Station a lot. It's very convenient. The stuff is like all right there. It's a nice place. Um, and it's it's near a metro as well. But this is actually in the metro. And um, I don't know. Like it's it's very. There's a lot of pros to it. Um, so I just bought some more ammo off of Big Ozzy as well. So I've bought like 170 plus two millimeter rounds. I've bought like 200 plus 45 millimeter rounds. I bought 100 plus 38 rounds and 59 308 rounds, um, as well as a bunch of flamer fuel and other stuff here. There's everything you need is here. Um, it's a really good place to be. Um, I was also able to get some nice weapons off of that other vendor. Um, there's a chance that when I get higher level, Big Ozzy could have a gauze rifle or something similar in his inventory. There's no reason why he couldn't. So I feel like this is the yes. place to be. This is the place to make your home. Um, you've got, uh, you can go to the access tunnels here if you want, and you've got both cooking and chem stations nearby. Yeah. You've got an armor workbench over here. You've got a chem station right over here as well you can use. Um, so you got the armor workbench, the chem station, huh? um, and then you go to Valenti station here, and they might have a cooking station here too, I'm not sure. But Valenti station has your weapons workbench, right over, not here, right over here, it's your weapons workbench. I wish I could build like, a uh, armor workstation, and like, I wish I could build like everything right here. Like, and maybe in later in the game, I might consider just, like, scrapping this stuff and, like, building those things. I don't know. Using uh, the Conquest mod or something to actually build stuff down here. It would be kind of cool. I know some people do that, and it's not really considered that overpowered. It's just kind of a convenience thing. Might be worth considering. But, uh, yeah. yeah, just... You got that vendor that's nearby. There's There are beds over there as well. Got the vendor nearby over here that you can go to, um, right, which is like just down the street is that vendor, like right over here. It's like right here was that vendor that had all the ammo and stuff. And then if I really want chems, I can always go down uh, down to here between DB Tech and Hester Consumer Robotics. There's chems down here, it's close by. Um, and the nice thing is this is kind of like smack in the middle between like the upper areas and lower areas like I can very easily kind of like this will be my staging point to like invade Cambridge if you will and uh, start clearing that stuff out so yeah this is this is the perfect spot guys um, I I love it I think the only problem is of course I have to haul all this shit up here that's the problem right I gotta haul stuff here so it's gonna be probably two to three hours of me walking back and forth carrying all my stuff up here it's gonna take a while guys it's gonna, it's gonna take a while so i am going to drop off the majority of my stuff here um i shouldn't shouldn't drop my sniper rifle i'll take that with me drop off the majority of my stuff here i don't need that many 45 rounds that should be plenty for the trip down and back and um bring everything up here what am I carrying? It's so heavy. Good God. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to do it off screen. It's going to take me like the rest of the day IRL to do this. It's going to take a while, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, so yeah, I will see you when that's done. I guess I can do it all through the tunnels. I don't know what's quicker, going outside or going through the tunnels to do this. Tunnels is a quite a long walk, but so is over land. Tunnels is less risky. Whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll see you guys once I have transferred everything up here, and then we're going to explore around here, and then next episode probably we'll start our invasion of Cambridge. So on one of my many trips back and forth from Andrew Station up to the new home at Valenti Station, I saw a uh, major Mr. Gutsy over there, and he just slaughtered like five or six survivors. I mean, they didn't even see a chance. They, they died so quick. So I thought I'd get the uh, nice laser sniper rifle out here and give that a try. All right, let's give this a try. Well, that was pretty easy. I was kind of like effectively out of his range. He wasn't able to really hit me with anything. 
if you could even see me at all, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, this this weapon is just awesome. I'd like to get a long, Please improved barrel for it. Oh, the there's more. Open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Your cooperation is requested. See, I don't think I don't like is that the, that improved sniper rifle, you have to wait. You hear the tick, tick, tick after every shot. That's the recharging. It takes three ticks before it has 100% charge, and then you can actually do full damage. So, anyway, just wanted to show you that off. It was pretty cool. Back to the grind. All right, guys, there's a ton I want to explore over here. But uh, I want to go down and do something I have kind of avoided for a while first. I did get most of my stuff done down here. What are these guys doing? I really have no idea. Oh. I see what they're doing now. Good God, those rads. Kill him. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, get him, get him, get him. The fuck? Fuck's sake, man. It's ridiculous. This is actually really bad. Um, okay. Fuck, I didn't give everybody stim packs. I thought I got more than that. I have no rat away either. Damn it. This is really bad, guys. It's really, really bad. I guess I'll take some rat X, but damn. Fuck off, kindly, please. Thank you. Fuck off. Uh, no. Well, that sincerely blows. Now I'm, like, all fucked up. I guess I'm going back. <laughs> going back up. I got everything transferred over here. Over to Valenti Station. Should've let these guys thin them out a bit. Didn't realize they were fighting that many ghouls. Holy crap, there's a lot of ghouls. Okay, well, yeah, I got everything... Well, not everything, but I got all my... Everything but my junk transferred over to Valenti Station up here. And I've, uh, got that as my new home now. Motherfucker, I don't have... I can't deal with this right now. End up dying. This place was, like, cleared out. Like, yesterday, like, I ran back and forth through here quite a bit. Did not see anywhere near this kind of activity. Now, suddenly, I reload the game, and bam, is everything... All this stuff is here again. All right, I'm almost here. There are, like, all kinds of uh, little things to explore around here in this area. I'd like to, like to get them all explored, but I wanted to go down to the south, and I wanted to go and... Uh, clear out Hester's Consumer Robotics. There's a whole bunch of robots in there that I wanted to kill. But I wasn't expecting to take, you know, so much damage and stuff here. Let me see. That's why I have the, um, the big powerful sniper rifle here. So I was planning on killing a whole bunch of, uh, robots, and they're... Killing them is, uh, it's kind of difficult. Like with a combat rifle or shotgun or anything like that, it's not going to work very well. You need something more powerful. So I brought the uh, laser weapon huh? along. So, I just got my ass kicked pretty hard, so I forgot to get more stim packs and rat away. Did not get any rat away. Okay, let's get about uh, 10 of those, about 10 of those. Got some surgical kits. All right, should be good. So let's take a rat away. I leveled up again. Um, and I got Medic Rank 3, so now uh, it restores 80% of my health and stuff. So if I use uh, Rataway right here in a stim pack, I should be pretty much good to go. Okay. Well, now I guess I'll see you down there. Well, more survivors over here. Yes, where'd you go? 
pointing that shit at me and shooting at me, ma'am. Or else you're gonna get blown up. This area is just like just crazy, like stuff respawns constantly out here. Here's another like super tiny dinner plate. I mean I guess it could be like one of those tiny plates that you put like a, a teacup on or whatever. There's a machine gun turret. This machine gun turret respawns like every single time. That's how awesome that laser rifle is, one shot. And it gives me like a whole bunch of assault rifle ammo every time too. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we're going down to Hester's Consumer Robotics. We're gonna kill all the robots, get some experience. Been afraid to go there because, you know, it's really scary down there. Really powerful enemies there. But it should be fine. Um, as long as I'm careful. I've got the laser rifle, so it should be okay. Okay, and up through there, Remember, like, from, I don't know, many episodes ago, uh, that's where I went up to go to Mass Pay Medical. It's like an office enclosure over there. Now, there are, uh, there are some pretty dangerous enemies over here. Probably gonna toss this frag grenade to start out with. Probably gonna use some drugs, to be honest. Yeah, like some medics. Um, take a sandy hit, use some psycho buff. And, uh, yeah, we'll hope for the best here. Intruder. Identify your gun. Attack on well. hostile target. So far, so good, man. For your safety, please. Take cover until the lawbreaker. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god. The fucking fire guy just destroyed me, like instantly. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I realized, you know how stupid it was I didn't sleep here? Why would I not have slept? That's so stupid. That was so incredibly dumb of me to not sleep here, to get a save in. Okay, so we're doing, um, doing a lot of drugs today, kids. So, turn away. We're doing overdrive, we're doing um, psycho buff, we're doing. Gonna do some ultra jet. That should be good. <laughs> 255, not bad. <laughs> Makes you thirsty doing drugs. Alright, here we go. Use a frag grenade over there. Intruder, identify yourself. No, that's kind of wasteful, but. It is what it is, boys. At least they're dead. Better to be a little wasteful. The reason I'm saying it's wasteful is because uh, I didn't let the, the laser rifle recharge. So I wasn't doing full damage there. Two fusion cores. Yeah, a whole bunch of good shit. These guys. Cryo cell. Now, the rest of the guys in here ought to be pretty easy. In fact, I don't think they actually attack you. I think they're just, like, they'll just sit there and let me kill them. If this place, this has, um, if this had, I'm always on the lookout for new places I could set up as a base. If this place has a uh, cooking station, actually it does. It has a cooking station and, um, so these guys don't really do anything. They just kind of stand here.
Hit him on the eye, it'll be a one shot. Sorry, dude. Yeah, this could be a nice place to set up camp, you know? Never thought about this as a place to set up camp. Here we go again. Got pretty good odds here. See ya. It's so weird, I go to hit the reload button and there there is no reload because this thing has infinite ammo, so... Well, not infinite, but it has, you know... Doesn't require ammo, I guess, is what I'm saying. Doesn't require a reload. Oh, good. That's a flamer fuel. You're dead, buddy. Oh, cut, really? 82% chance you miss? Come on now. See, I didn't bring a whole bunch of my junk with me uh, just because I didn't think I really need it. I mean, if I need it later, I can always go and get it, I guess. But I didn't feel like hauling stuff back and forth like 20 more times. It would have taken a long time to get it all back there, so I just didn't bother. Got any magazines or anything down here? Money? I don't know why I keep saying pre-war money as opposed to like, you know, dollar amounts like it should. But it does, and I can't do anything about it. I've tried messing with my load order and stuff, and I just I just can't change it, so I don't know guys, it is what it is, you know. We can go back in the office back here. Had some seriously messed up stuff going on over here, man. I've got a ton of, like, so much stuff I hoarded. And now I think about it, it's like, you know, I really didn't need to do all that. It's really, it was really a bit much, you know? I mean, yeah, I can make, like, any weapon I could ever want, but it's a bit much, isn't it? Probably was unneeded. No, I want the box. There we go. All right, well, I think that's about it here. Uh, I just wanted to come down here and clear it out. Then we're going to go back up north and start clearing out in those areas up there. Should be a lot of stuff out there. So, uh, if you go outside here... Oh, wait, there's, there's more back here, isn't there? Probably nothing in here, to be honest. Yes. Take a look, though. Eh, okay, some money and stuff. So, since there's a... I'm pretty sure there's a cooking and chem station right outside of here, over at Slim's place. So, uh, that, that's like everything is right here then, yeah? That's like, this place is even better than Andrew Station. Got your armor workbench inside here, along with your power armor, and, uh, weapons workbench is right over there. So you can go outside here, and right beside it is Slim's place right here. And, yeah, Slim has chemistry. In fact, Slim has everything except for, like, weapon, or everything except for armor workbench, I think, out here. So, really, yeah. Can you sleep in uh, Slim's bed? I guess he doesn't have a nice bed. That's the one thing he doesn't have here, is that it's a nice bed. Can't sleep in that bed, and there's, like, no beds around here, so that's a problem. Otherwise, it's a good spot, though. You can sleep over here, but yeah, it's not a nice sleeping bag, not a nice bed or anything. All right, I'm going to go back up north, and we're going to explore up there some more, but there's quite a bit of running to do before I get there, so I'll see you once we are there. All right, guys, well, we are finally here. Oh, here is where I was at earlier. That's right. You have to go in this, um, this bus. This is where I was earlier, where I got all the, uh, the drinks and stuff, and all the, the booze and all the, uh, all the bottles and stuff. I got a, like a ton of bottles in here. Then I went in the elevator and went up top on top of this building. There's like absolutely nothing up there on top of the building though. It's like literally just like an empty area. Alright, so um, yeah, there's that. Just wanted to show you that. I'm finally like where I want to be. 
and uh, I've got a whole bunch of places to explore, and I just I don't like I don't know where to start, man. It's just there's so much to look at, so much to do, so many things to kill. That is a trip wire. That is a grenade bouquet. No thanks on that. Brought along the big heavy duty sniper right the um, laser sniper rifle as well as the regular sniper rifle. It's kinda heavy to carry both, but um, we're getting into kind of dangerous territory here, so I believe they are actually above me. Who's out there? Hmm. Nothing there. What the fuck was that? This is oh. <laughs> mm, that shotgun was not really in range of me, buddy. It's too bad for you. Military gas, man, those are worth like three hundred apiece. Even though they're a little bit heavy, they weigh like three units or whatever, they're really worth quite a lot. So this is the Haymarket Mall. I've been wanting to go through here for quite a while. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Alright, so I'm not sure where the best way to go in here is, but we're just going to go in and see what's what, I guess. Go in down through here. Through this expert lock. Why not? That's it. I should try to find a bed somewhere huh? around here. Huh? Oh. Eh, uh, who? Oh man, please okay. don't Okay, Ferrell's. Cut again. the shit! Who is that? The oh. shit's got ambush all over it. <laughs> Somebody just fell down? Give you that. Get some, motherfucker! Damn it! Oh. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit! That's that's a missile launcher, okay. I'm gonna need a more mid rangey weapon for this, I think. Okay guys, I'm back. Finally. <laughs> it took a while, but we're finally back. Just kind of going to explore around this area. I saw some interesting locations around here that I kind of want to check out. Um, if I can remember how to get back to them. There was one over here, I believe. I think it was this way. I remember having to run past the rads anyway. So there's the bank over here. Which I think I stopped in here briefly, but I don't think I actually went up. Or if I did, I can't remember what's up here. Let me see what's up here real quick. There's so many little buildings around here, like little... I don't know, there's there's a couple of them that I've never seen before. Like, I've literally never seen them before. Um, period. Whoa! Hello. Beat it. Okay, not immediately hostile. Terminal's got this locked. Hmm, expert terminal, huh? There are a whole bunch of safes in here, if I remember correctly, but I can't open it right now. Unless there happens to be a key around here somewhere. I don't suppose there's a key in here, is there? A password that is? Sweet. Nope, just some random stuff. Back off. But I wanna go over there. Keep moving. I'm gonna have to fight you, aren't I? Didn't want to do it, man. Just got a journal. 
Elizabeth Irving's journal. Quite a lot of nice stuff, too. And a Vault 95 jumpsuit. Sometimes when I'm alone at night, I think about all that has happened and I feel empty, broken, as if everything that I did was for nothing, as if it was my fault all along. But then I look to the sky and I see the sun coming through and I realize that those words were just words and those thoughts were just thoughts. I am alive after all of this, I am alive. The needle couldn't take me, vault tech couldn't take me, and no goddamn flesh rotten son of a bitch is going to take me either. I am Elizabeth Irving and I am alive. Well, not anymore Elizabeth Irving, sorry. Now you're dead. Oh, the irony. Yes. So you can't actually go this way. Um, what about down here? Probably a bunch of traps down there, huh? It's a long ways down. Hmm, okay. And this goes outside then, huh? I wonder where this goes to. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember this. I remember this now. This is like around the corner from Haymarket Mall, right? Okay, yeah, it just goes just goes around. Okay. Just a small little little area there, a little dungeon. Alright guys, well as I'm editing this, I realize we are approaching the 50 minute plus mark. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. Um, right over here is Haymarket Mall again, I believe. So next time, we're going to get back in here and try to take stuff out over here. So thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. It helps out my channel immensely, and I will see you next time.